beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son john Be 17 blessed. let's look at the prayer of jesus Let's start off from there. John chapter 17. We'll read from verse 13 down to 21. There's just one verse, but let me just lay a foundation even as we build. Let your heart be open. It's not only important to hear the word of God, you must always be in a position to receive it. As many as receive him, he gave them power. The power is given only to those who receive. Hallelujah john 17 verse 13 and now this is jesus praying by the way jesus is praying talking to his father um, he was shortly to depart to begin his passion the activities that led him to the cross and now he's praying verse 13 and now come i to thee please listen and these things i speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves 14 We'll run down till 21. I have given them thy word and the world had hated them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. This is a message on its own. We can dwell for weeks here just trying to unravel this mystery. This is Jesus praying. But that thou shouldest keep us them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so, I also send them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they might also be sanctified through the truth. 20. Now listen. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Say, Jesus prayed for me. Or say, Jesus prayed for me. When he was praying this prayer, he added you to the list. He said, I'm not just praying for these immediate disciples. But there are many who will receive and believe and come into the truth as a result of their word. 21 is my verse of emphasis. He says that they may be one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they may also be one in us. Why? To the end that the world may believe that thou sent me. Everybody say that they may be one. I'm really speaking passionately to the body of Christ tonight, and this concerns every one of us because we're a part of it. I want to challenge one of the things the Bible says the fivefold ministry was supposed to address. When you read Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning from verse 10, the Bible says, When he led captivity captive, he went down to hell, and the Bible records that he gave gifts to men. Are we together now? He said, He gave unto some apostles and prophets 
and evangelists and pastors and teachers and all of that and then he says he gave this fivefold for certain things for the equipping perfecting maturing of the saints that the saints now being matured will do the work of the ministry what's the work of the ministry kingdom advancement right then it says that we all together will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ so it is God's desire that such a thing will exist in the body of Christ called the unity of the faith hallelujah the unity of the faith a level of oneness in the spirit that the church will have one voice that when we speak creation human beings government systems will acknowledge that which we are communicating because the church has come through the fivefold ministry to a point of alignment where our voice becomes one are we together now one of the chiefest of all the arsenals of darkness in destroying the church is the proposition that 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 mindset that has been injected into the church that makes the pursuit of god look as though it was a personal revelation that was given to just a person as though god is not interested in the corporate growth of the body are we together now so we have individuals coming with revelations and that's supposed to be the program of god that's how it comes it comes through a person but it is for a people are we together now and this this strategy by darkness has destroyed the body of christ because we have not been able to attain onto that point of unity maturity and perfection it's been a mighty tool that satan has used and so in the next two or three weeks we are going to be examining the concept of of uh, this statement that they may be one the concept of the unity of the faith but to start off tonight i want to um take on you would call it a subtopic i call it three great errors three great errors i will see of the wonders of your word i will seek out for joy i will seek of the wonders of your word and i will forever sing your praise Yes, we will forever sing your praise. Give us revelation tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 25. Let's start off from there. Three great errors that I believe has caused havoc in the body of Christ, has sabotaged the spiritual progress of many believers many ministries many well-meaning people who love the lord and desire the pursuit of godliness exodus 25 and verse 40 this was the construction of the tabernacle media you need to help us very very fast um, today hallelujah i like us to read together one to read and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was showed thee in the mount if you can have amplified that would be great hallelujah it says that you ensure that everything that is done to make up that temple is done according to pattern listen when it comes to spiritual progress and spiritual advancement the believer is not left to his options to guess his way and choose his method of spiritual growth and his method of understanding God are we together that degree of autonomy is not given to the believer there is a pattern 
there is a pathway there is a system with which god desires to be known and you cannot create your own pathway to the knowledge of god several people have gotten into error in an attempt to create different pathways to accessing god but there is a system it's consistent with the character of god that every time god gives you an assignment or wants to show you a dimension of himself he shows you how you will walk into it in this instance he revealed to moses i want to build a tabernacle but there are specifics it was on account of that that the hand of the lord came upon bezalel and released upon him the spirit of creativity and craftsmanship and here god is giving a warning again he's saying make sure under no circumstance should you become emotional about this building of the temple do not get to a point where you pity the people so much that you say no 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 instead of using gold gold is not available it will take us a long time to go and uh, and, and source for it and smelt the gold and all of that let's just manage this god is saying when it comes to this you keep emotions and sentiments there is a prescribed pathway are we together it's amazing how many people attempt to cultivate formulas and methods and all kinds of ways that they believe will lead to christ that's why jesus ended that confusion once and for all he said i am the way I lead you to the truth and I give you life. Hallelujah. The concept of patterns is something that has intrigued me personally in my work with God. Ministries have failed because they have ignored the patterns of God. Families have failed because they have ignored the patterns of God. Listen, everybody say spiritual patterns. Say it, spiritual patterns there is a prescribed formula for doing anything in this kingdom hallelujah there is a spiritual formula for being a father the only way you can become an effective father in the kingdom is to subscribe to that formula when you guess your own method it has severe side effects there is a pattern to become blessed and wealthy in the kingdom you guess your own pattern or listen to the garbages that are marketed around there will be a side effect let me tell you something you see the failure of governments across territories from nigeria to other parts of the country is a result of our guessing different pathways of managing the earth when god designed man he gave a pattern are we together now our refusal to pay attention to the patterns of God is what is responsible for many tragic events in families. When you see a family, for instance, where it is the mother who is fending for the children and the father is there crossing his leg, doing nothing, for instance, that is a violation of the patterns of God. And the Bible says, whosoever breaks the hedge, please pay attention. The serpent is authorized to strike. So your only basis of fortification in the kingdom is your subscription, your alignment to divine patterns concerning every matter. Hallelujah. Now, we live in a world there is no time in modern history where we have a beehive of arrogant people living and walking upon the face of the earth everyone with his own um self-exaltation we pride ourselves in intellectual accomplishments we pride ourselves in our social status and all kinds of things and these false accolades have brought us to a point where we believe we can be God outside of the Christ. You see, let me tell you something. When the New Testament believer derives the relevance of his entire work in Christ, any activity at all you try to initiate that is outside of the authority 
the supervision and the jurisdiction of the Christ is error, is disalignment, and is apostasy, a deviation from God's patterns. Are we together now? There is a pattern for everything in life. When God anoints you and calls you into ministry, there is a pattern. When God anoints you and calls you into leadership, there is a pattern. Now the trouble there is, we receive the call and choose our pattern. Are we together now? Think how many times the people in the Bible refused to move until God told them how to do it. Moses is standing before the Red Sea and he knows the Red Sea can part. He knows there is a provision in the might of God to deal with that situation. Now Moses as a person did not know how it will happen. But one thing is that in the multifaceted dimension of God's wisdom there is a provision for dealing with that predicament. Are we together now? And so Moses had to pay attention to stay with God and God spoke to him in Exodus 14. Tell the people to move forward. Stretch your rod. Part that sea with it. When they got to Jordan, you would think it was the same instruction given to Moses. But Joshua had to wait to receive another pattern on how to part the same sea. You went for a meeting and the Lord told you, let everybody lift his hands. Then you go for another one and assume if God said everybody lift his hands, that's what he's saying now. And you say, everybody lift your hands. And nothing happens. And you say, Lord, what is this? And he says, I'm a God of patterns. Is God speaking to us? There were times when the nation of Israel were told to stand still. Don't do anything. God will fight for you. Hold your peace. There were times he said, prepare for war. You are going to fight. Patterns. Our inability to understand. Listen, please. I pray that God will open your eyes. This is not even where I'm going to. When the Bible says all things are possible. Let me explain to you what that means. In God's multifaceted wisdom, there is a solution for everything. Only if you can wait until you receive the blueprint for addressing that current condition are we together now the bible is a compendium of spiritual patterns how god approaches things in life his methodology his approach to the issues of life god's pattern is that listen if you do not have love for instance even your faith works by love that's God's pattern. God's pattern of prosperity is that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The world has their pattern. Cheat, loot, kill, hoard resources. Patterns. Are we together now? The world prides itself in achievement. In the kingdom it is God that gives men the power to get well. There are patterns. Our cultures have their patterns. For instance, they tell you when you get married, beat your wife in such a way that she will understand the possibilities that are in you. Then start treating her well. Are we together now? So that if at any point she wants to trivialize your masculinity, the memory of what had happened will put her into order. That's a world's pattern. But God says, uh-uh, wives submit. Husbands, love your wives. And he didn't leave you to love the way you like. He said, as Christ, love the church. Are we together now? Let me tell you something. Dear, our lives are largely a consistent activity of violating kingdom patterns. Consistently. In God's kingdom, if you want to be great, you must be humble. In the world system, you try to, like a political party, you try to gather together loyalists who will exalt you. But here's how we, are, we rise in the kingdom. If I be lifted up, not if you, 
I will draw all men. Are we together now? Divine patterns. Let me show you one more scripture. And then we'll begin to talk about the errors. Ezekiel 43. When I found this, this was, this was powerful. I mean, it blessed me. Ezekiel 43 from verse 7 to 12. Ezekiel 43. Is God blessing us already? There are divine patterns. Ezekiel 43, 7 to 12. It says, And he the Lord said unto me, Son of man, listen. He said, This is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever. He said, And my holy name, the house of Israel, shall be no more profane, neither they nor their kings by their idolatrous halotry, nor by the dead bodies and monuments of their kings. Verse 8. Nor by setting their threshold and so on and so forth. Let's go to 9. Listen. He said, Now let them put away their idolatrous halotry and the dead bodies and monuments of their kings far from me, and I will dwell in their midst forever. 10. Son of man. Listen. He said, Show the temple by your description of it to the house of Israel that they may be ashamed of their iniquity that they may see how much they have deviated from my ordinances and my patterns he says and let them measure accurately its appearance and plan next verse and if they are ashamed of all that they have done make known unto them the form of the temple and the arrangement of it this was a prophetic language he's speaking prophecy here it exists and its entrance and the whole form of it and its ordinances and all its forms and all its laws and write it down in their sight so that they may keep the whole form of it and all the ordinances of it and do them he said look 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 these guys are guessing around they are guessing the reason why my presence is not made manifest is that there is a specific spiritual pattern like like an organogram that if done well will give me space to find expression when when balaam was called by balak to go and curse the nation of israel when he got to the mountain the bible says he saw that there was a spiritual formation are we together now the nation of israel were arranged according to their tribes with the ark of god being at the center that was a pattern that was given and he looked and he said ah these people are blessed i cannot curse them he tried to curse them but the dexterity of the pattern refused the curse from coming out are we together now he that breaks the hedge he that violates the patterns the serpent not may strike the serpent is waiting at the mercy of your alignment waiting for your disalignment to authorize his operations he said tell them i want you to give them the dimensions because you see a man when you read the new testament the bible tells us that we are we are temples temples and so in the similitude of this that was revealed to prophet ezekiel he's saying there are dimensions there are patterns listen this spiritual alignment works like magic look at me please look at me i want to talk to you honestly brothers and sisters you may never know to what degree your alignment can authorize the activities of heaven around your life elijah the prophet understood divine patterns when it was time to call the presence of god he didn't roam around guessing his options he said bring me 12 stones because he was operating with the god of the covenant bring me 12 stones representing the 12 tribes of israel he put a sacrifice upon it he said bring me water and there was blood upon it and he called down the god of heaven and god came instantly are we together now the patterns of god there has been largely a deviation from god's pattern 
you see when you look at a life that after prayer after fasting you lay hands on the person four gallons of oil and the person does not change and there is no breakthrough let me tell you among other reasons that person is in by default living in disalignment to the ordinances and the patterns of the kingdom let me tell you something please come you see ba if this guy has a spirit manipulating him whereas by default his heart is stayed on violating the truths and the principles of the kingdom no matter what kind of deliverance i do the devil will only be playing caricature and mockery with him are we together now because the devil knows that the edge is broken he can find expression we see this in the book of job satan came to job and found out that the hedge was closed and he went back to god and said allow me allow me to be able to penetrate and find expression so i can pray for this guy and lay hands on him are we together now but he will go back into consistently violating the patterns of god the pattern of god you see someone sent me a text thank you someone sent me a text today and said um said i'm tired of my life i don't even know what is happening in our family man of god i believe one word from you would change our financial situation and i say it's not true no i wish listen i i can prophesy and it can bring breakthrough but that breakthrough is like pouring water in a basket there is a pattern that authorizes that breakthrough to leave the family are we together one they are not honoring the lord with their time no no no, no let's even leave honoring the lord with your time number one their hearts like the macedonians are not even with god it says they draw nigh to me with their mouths their lips but their hearts are far away from me are we together now tithing is zero even when it is zero even when it is there is a bribe they walk up to god with anger and resentment spend everything and calculate what they spent later on and now say i spent ten thousand okay god how much do i even have two thousand okay take one thousand this is your tithe that kind of attitude will keep that man in poverty and then to talk of other principles you do nothing you get nothing are we together that idea of something for nothing is an illusion it's nonsense so that man is violating this pattern and when he comes for miracle service in his mind he's thinking oh god let this guy call me and prophesy to me and say your level is changing and all through the preaching time he's impatient he's just waiting for where we say rise up on your feet because to him he believes every other thing i'm saying is nonsense this man you are happy there's water in front of your table that's why you don't know what is wrong with me listen it is because of this that we have very little appetite to stay with the word and understand the principles of the spirit and one of the errors that is even coming to the body of christ right now is the replacement supposedly to replace the word ministry with what we know as prayer ministry just follow me i have something for you tonight. are we together now and so it is good to pray but many people convince themselves and think because i am praying look i know so many ignorant prayer warriors who whose lives is not producing any result their frustration is to the roof because they want to replace one kingdom truth with another are we together now we just finished seven days prayer and fasting but there are there are patterns there are principles that you must learn listen please pay attention to what i'm saying if you are still guessing your life you are going to be in trouble please come here jimmy let me use two people benga come uh, who promise come let me just use these three people come sir now watch this these are great men of God. These are three great mighty people. Listen. If I give all of them 
a mic and I say in five minutes, I, I'm not going to do that, just an example. I say, Ejimi, what is the key to the blessing in the kingdom? Maybe that's the question he has to ask you. Can you stand up and articulate the same way I look at you and I say, how do you make jollof rice? I say, uh, get a pen and paper. Get one cup of water. Go and buy this and that. Add onion. Don't put it too early. Do this and that. All of those rules. Are we together now? I come to Benga and I say, how is it, is there a possibility that a man can walk in divine health? Oh yes, the Bible says it by his stripes we are healed. Are you living in it? No. That means something is wrong. And the problem is never from God. Can he teach you and guide you as though giving you a formula? Are we together now? Number three, I meet promise and I say promise. Can favor work in my life every day and every time? Is there such a reality in a man's work with God? That based on an understanding and a, an anointing that comes upon your life, you can walk in favor. I can call one more person and say, can you show us the path of advancement and progress in the spirit? Can you teach me what to do such that after 10 years, I'm still moving forward regardless of what happens? Everyone say patterns. Please look at me. Brothers and sisters, your spiritual growth is not all about getting revelations you do not understand. It's about understanding the construction. You have to know how the kingdom is built, the systems of God's kingdom, to master the laws with which you will use to command results in this territory. Otherwise, no matter what else you do, it's only a matter of time. You'll be frustrated. I guarantee you. You can jump around and act like you're moving forward. Ten years down the line. Because this is why you find out that so many people, this guy starts well, after three or five children, he's angry. He cannot remember the message he preached ten years ago because he only prepared it for preaching. He preached it powerfully but that truth has not been seated in him what do you know which pattern of the kingdom do you understand that brings you at peace with creation if somebody looks at you now and say mama i'm going to a herbalist tonight and i assure you you see this fowl that i'm holding in my hand is for you we are going to kill you this night I want to ask you a question, Koinonia. What will you do? I know what many of you will do. You will call me. Or you will call Benga or any of the leaders. <laughs> Apostle, somebody is, is daring. I'm a member of Koinonia. That's why you will stay first. You see, let me tell you. Look up, look up. Listen. If this is how it continues becoming, I'm not helping you. I'm only... It's like a musician coming for a show. That's what is happening. The goal of these teachings all the time is not to make you keep saying, my, this guy is an anointed man of God. No, there is something that is supposed to be transferred to you. Are we together? Like a button. At a point, you should be able to hold it. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. Now you handle it. And you can go places with it. I know it. I know how this thing works. Somebody looks at you and says, you are a failure. Continue praying in tongues. And you laugh and say, no, I'm not just a tongue talker. I know the patterns of God. I understand it. Listen, I don't care what you are doing that you are calling spiritual growth. If you are not understanding the patterns of the kingdom, the days that will come will frustrate your Christian experience. Look at what is happening, for instance, in the economy now. 1,200 naira or there about one gallon of oil. Now, now, the reality is that that's, that's very painful. But have you got the light that shines in the night? In the midst of this cry, 
some people have never had it this good what is responsible for it are we together there seems to be a time when a spirit comes upon the body of Christ and people start getting lukewarm and cold. Even preachers, I, sometimes I really find it funny. A man of God comes on stage and says, look, uh, we are going to just review what we have been teaching because he's stranded. He has not mastered the key to continuous growth in the spirit. And so he has exhausted every message. Four months into the year, he's tired. And then he comes and says, well, um, why are you people looking at me like that? It's not like I didn't prepare. I've been busy. You think ministries? And then he starts venting his anger because he has gassed out. He does not know that there is a formula in the spirit that can keep men on fire 24 hours. Believe me when I say this. That when people are drowning spiritually, Right? a man who used to walk in miracles and power five years ago five years later is, is barely trying to pray for headache something happened his inability to understand how to sustain the anointing is drying him up are we together now please look at me what you do not know in the kingdom should be your pursuit at this point that's how to grow you don't just open your devotional and say, today let me read 2 Kings. I've not read Kings in a long time. You are not growing. You are convincing yourself that because others are seeing you read the Bible, then when you finish, you just walk around, pray for two hours in tongues, just stroll around and ba 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 one hour, ba 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 two, two hours, and you just say, oh, that's enough, I'm growing. You are not growing. Believe me, you are not growing. It's just religion. Because your life and the lack of spiritual evidence will show that there is no progress bless you guys please i'd like you to pray in one minute and say lord make my growth constructive pray inside and outside and all those following us online pray lord make my growth constructive i'm tired of comparing myself with people and convincing myself that i'm growing whereas i am not growing the difference between a general and one who just entered the army is, is access to mysteries, access to patterns. He understands the art of war. He knows what to do. He knows how to put fear in his opponent and the enemy. Spiritual growth is not haphazard. You can lay hold on eternal life. You can lay hold on the precepts of the kingdom. If that is not happening, no matter how you convince yourself, you are not growing. Listen, please look at me. To grow spiritually is not to know how to preach. There are many people who have studied homiletics and they know nothing about spiritual growth. To grow spiritually is not to get to the point where you can now start writing books. Look, even an unbeliever is smart enough. You can go online. What does it take intellectually speaking to prepare a nice sermon if i tell you to preach on faith are you so daft that you cannot go and get messages of faith and listen to one and get some things and look at one or two scriptures remove some things you don't believe and just arrange it and come and stand and say okay we are preaching on faith and deliver an intelligent message and at the end somebody is saying this is amazing i've never had this i thought the greek word was pistis now you are bringing another word wow and then you leave with envelope and believe that that envelope is a sign it's an authorization that you are making progress then they will invite you for another meeting are we together you see how the deception grows they now say oh ebenezer please there's one small prayer meeting i don't know if you can just come and bless us you are the one who you believe you are growing so you are coming on let's all pray one hour two hours three hours you pray spiritually here and there they start calling you for little counseling and say i'm making progress believe me if those are the indices you are using for progress you know why i'm saying this a time will come your life will become clear that you are not growing and you have to find ways of explaining to people first and foremost why you are not growing to grow spiritually is not the ability to sing spiritual songs alone that's important 
that you stand on stage and raise a song a popular song that we know in the body of Christ or writing songs no it's not a sign that you're spiritual your degree of alignment to patterns look at me brothers and sisters it is on the strength of that alignment you can look at people and stretch your hands and say my God bless you and that encounter will produce more results to them than long grammar of nonsense that cannot be proved everybody say I want results in my life please say it I want results in my life this is why regardless of how spiritual we think we are the people in our environment subconsciously they are not impressed and they are not convinced because it is barren of the ability to deliver if your life is producing result I assure you your praying in tongues will not interrupt anybody nobody will say yeah, stop shouting Jare is too much no they are shouting because they are comparing that shout for three hours every day at the back of their window eight o'clock you are at it is it wrong no but that you are believing that just that in itself on its own please believe me you see ba i may not i may not claim to understand certain aspects in the kingdom but brothers and sisters when it comes to the presence of god and the operation of the kingdom i know what i'm saying there is a way a man walks with god that god will make your life a wonder there is a way a man thinks he's walking with god and at the end it looks like god is a wicked god i counsel people all the time after years of spiritual activities they return back with frustration and they say apostle i can't understand i'm the prayer leader in my group i love god every time we organize crusades maybe in a, a place our village at the end of the year i can't understand why is god this unfair to me is this is this how my life will be i will worship you forever love you forever because this god is too good i will worship you forever love you forever because this god is too good listen brothers and sisters hear me and believe me when i tell you god is a good god something about our not understanding his ways is responsible the inability to understand the patterns of god and you see that's why many pastors have to be careful a whole territory can be disaligned because of an ideology that comes from a pastor especially here in the north because we are very religious people we are sincere people who are religious so a pastor comes on stage and for 10 years he's teaching people something that is an error with such authority and audacity they give birth to their children and their grandchildren and they say this is the way and when the child is saying daddy i think is they say I will, I will slap you it's been this way have you gotten results through it don't question god it's only god that knows what he's doing let's just keep on no 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 everybody shout no way there is a way growing up i saw many things well-meaning people who said all kinds of things about god this is how we mock ourselves lion of the tribe of judah everybody clap for jesus they clap say no 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 this is not for my jesus and god is saying do you really know me all these things you are doing look how many frustrated people in the body of christ look how many people are sick in the body of christ as if divine healing is a lie that's why when you come and you are preaching and say there is a possibility in god to bring you healing they are just watching you it's when they hear somebody just shout under the anointing everybody say, ah there's power in this place so let's pay attention to what this person is saying it's terrible look at what is happening to our families brothers and sisters are you not concerned 
that our spirituality is not matching up with the faithfulness of God and the goodness of God as claimed by him himself. I tell you where the problem is. It's uncomfortably true, but we must admit it. Our inability to understand his patterns. God is a loving God, but he's not an emotional God. If he were an emotional God, the cry of many people would bring them out of hell. I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. Yes, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. I have watched the lives of people, even in Koinonia here, I've watched the lives of people when they came for Koinonia with their beliefs, with their understandings about God, and they chose to receive the word of God foolishly, childlikely, and watch what has happened in their lives. Hallelujah. Patterns. Let's go to three great errors. I don't want to just dwell here, but I mean, I can stay here all night and challenge you. I took a study towards the end of last year on God's generals afresh. I've studied them so many times. So many times. But I took, I took another study recently and it was as though I had never studied them I remember crying almost for two three hours in the night and say Lord what nonsense is this how come we lost touch with spiritual reality no symbol to charge the atmosphere for them no worship song as we know dancing around but these people came with sincerity and they activated possibilities in the lives of people those guys had results hundred people could come sick and up to 95 can live healed verified not this our thing that we're not even sure whether we're here very sure that they are healed and the Lord reiterated it to me again son I will not bend to your pattern. It was when the prodigal son got up and said, I will arise. The father wanted him, but the father would not just get up and roam around. The son said, ah, ah. He thought to himself, I have disaligned out of pattern. When I was under the authority there, I lacked nothing. I wanted self-sufficiency. It drove me out into lack. Now I'm eating with pigs. Question, did his eating with pigs reduce the wealth of his father? Did any demon advise him? No. He said, I will arise. Let me tell you, some things are not demonic. It is within your power to be angry and say it must stop from today. I will arise and go to my father. And say, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm not even worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your servants. And the Bible says, afar off, while he was yet coming, the father saw him and ran to him. And ran to him. I am passionate about seeking to understand the patterns of God. Our generation is not in ignorance. Technology has opened us up to a vast array of possibilities. I watch believers now, and I'm telling you with all sincerity, the way many people are seeking God is not how I sought God. I sought God seriously. You don't even see anybody say, okay, let me get a concordance. They don't need it. I remember times when we sit down, we'll be asking questions. Ah, Jesus went to hell and preached a message. First Peter said so, and we are very fine right now. Believers don't say they sit down, gist and talk nonsense. Then when it's time for prayer, everybody say, let's pray. Begin to pray. Everybody begin to move around. And we move around as if we are making a fool out of ourselves. Listen, let me talk to you. I have a responsibility to teach you truth. If I did not have the results in my life, you will say I'm deceiving you. Are we together now? Many people call upon God and it looks like he cannot answer. 
and then we keep creating theologies to explain this brothers and sisters he can be hard there is a disalignment we need to return so pastor said God is not a God of crowd he's a God of what then God so loved the world not God so loved Israel God is not a God of crowd I desire that no man perish prosperity is not the most important thing all that is needed in your life you don't need any anointing don't no nothing no the, the most important thing if you have Jesus you have everything it looks like a very nice message believe it and see what it will do to you it will destroy your life that's what has happened let me tell you do you know any spiritual message can make you feel guilty and so it is out of guilt you will believe it people just say I hope you know there's nothing in this life Jesus is the way the truth and the life and you just feel guilty and say ah that book of financial intelligence I bought let me just throw it because the way this guy is talking three errors let me talk about it error number one that has ravaged the body of Christ is the error of apostasy please write it down apostasy open up your spirit now the Lord will bless you apostasy what is apostasy a departure from the known patterns of God a departure a derailing from the principles of God the name is apostasy two scriptures very quickly first Timothy please chapter 4 verse 1 first Timothy 4 verse 1 apostasy the first error in the body of Christ is that we have a people who are hell-bent on teaching nonsense and rubbish without finding out if what they are communicating is in line with God's pattern it says but the Holy Spirit listen distinctively and expressly declares that what will happen in the latter times some will turn away not backslide turn away completely from the faith it says giving attention to what deluding and seducing spirits and doctrines that demons teach who teaches it demons. there are doctrines in the body of Christ that are doctrines of demons and when I say doctrines of demons don't just think the modern church ancient and modern all there are doctrines of demons that are older than us they subtly came they look spiritual satan always uses it is written apostasy a deviation from the truth listen please look up the first operation of demons in the life of a man is deception to cause a man to err to manipulate truth see deception does not have to be a lie a manipulated truth is also deception I can take truth out of his context and preach you see I've shared with us again and again that this Bible is a prophetic book please listen to me brothers and sisters the Bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want to hear there are native doctors that when you enter their shrine you see bible does that mean they are of god you know it's a native doctor but you enter you can see all other religious books and then he adds the bible you can even say let's before i even pray before we cut this chicken turn to psalm psalm 5. now you are reading listen you are reading the bible I say, ah psalm 5 this guy this guy is making sense ah I'm, i did say, ah yeah i'm telling you i'm i'm a traditionalist but my own is different apostasy a deviation from truth there are people who have prophesied things to people that did not come from God they had something but it was not the spirit of God and they misled people every manifestation of prophecy that is not in sync with the patterns of God is witchcraft whether the operator of it is aware or not the operator may be innocent but it does not justify the operation are we together now how many marriages have broken in the church because somebody got up and said ah um 
I don't know what is I'm seeing. Martha, leave your husband because as I'm looking at you now, I'm seeing that um, there is a spirit. And they we can't even tell you the name of the spirit. The name of the spirit is A and B and C. Pastors have left wives. People have beaten people. Parents have disowned children. They have called innocent people mommy water. If somebody who is in his right senses was born, he has birth certificate from the hospital. You now say the person came all the way from the river and all sorts of things. Now listen, I'm not laughing. I'm serious because I'm going to balance it. There are many people who have carried the illusion right now. They walk around saying I'm a witch. He said, who told you? He said, a hey, man of God. That's why I came for miracle service. They said I am a witch. The man of God has never paid attention to find out what the Bible calls a witch. What is the condition from scripture to be called a witch or a wizard? Are we together now? And this has misled people. How about looking at a lady and vowing that you are going to marry a guy. His name is Benga. He likes keeping Malu. He will sit down by your left. If you don't marry this guy, your life is finished. And for 10 years, that lady is roaming around Nigeria looking for Benga. Moving all around. We've discussed this under challenging discussions on late marriage. There is a balance to it because there are times that it is true see when truth notice when truth is manipulated it becomes witchcraft apostasy so many people have been confused today because of wrong teachings let me tell you other wrong teachings so you don't think that maybe i'm challenging people that rubbish demonic teaching that came from the pit of hell please look up came from the pit of hell that the anointing is not important the most important thing is that jesus is lord of your life and you are heaven bound that's a doctrine of demons it's popular it's taught by conservatives but it's still demonic money is the root of all evil doctrines of demons it came from the pit of hell by sincere people well-meaning don't confuse i'm not saying those who brought it are demonic it is devilish and it is terrible because men have absorbed it and it has produced nonsense in their lives other doctrines prayer is not important you hear people say that kind of thing prayer is not important they even laugh and mock and everything you see some people pray bah, 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 and the congregation is laughing and demons are saying we like we like this congregation he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Another doctrine of demon. Once demons, once you are praying and you don't have any business with the word, just pray. It's still the same thing. Are we together now? There are all kinds of episodes of lies sugar-coated with a little truth here and there that is deceiving and misleading the body of Christ apostasy a deviation from the truth men of God have advised themselves on different ways to raise money and run church projects some of these ways of raising money I, I say you know that I love the body of Christ but I must say it we think it's nice we think it's marketable but some of these things were advices that were given by business people who received their inspiration on the seat of yoga it was under strong transcendental meditation they received some of this formula and then we watch their videos on youtube and say wow so this is how you raise money in the church and then you now come and we apply all kinds of things now the man may be genuinely anointed but there is a mix an aberration it's called apostasy a deviation from the truth some of us right now you have believed something that is not of God. And that's what has authorized Satan. Regardless of your prayer, he still finds expression in your life. There are people who believe you can have 10 girlfriends. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is marry one. They even tell themselves. It looks nice. And they say, man of God, I have like 10 guys. The last guy just came two weeks ago. Just can you help me? Which one do you think will be a nice guy? because 
a doctrine was marketed to you are we together another the latest of the dangerous apostasies that are coming is an imbalance of the concept of fatherhood and mentorship that is bringing is making men in the body of christ demigods are we together now usurping authority not just spiritual guidance but literally holding the keys of the lives and destinies of other people the disadvantage being a cause or a threat and all sorts of things there is a place for that but i've always found that such imbalances that have destroyed the body of christ so we have offshoots of these kinds of things people who kneel down and hands up in church churches where they flog people oh you are not aware of it it has happened to some of you that's why you are quiet you are just looking because it has happened listen i don't say this in a cynical way i came with my heart to pour it out this apostasy jesus prayed a prayer he said that they may be one they will cut away from all these things and stand in a point of strength doctrines of devils right now there are all kinds of strange demonic ministerial associations are we together now if you want to rise you have to come into it's almost like a cabal like a cult you never rise until you subscribe to certain occultic things and at extreme levels at least it's not strange in the body of christ we know that there are all kinds of occultic societies how many men of God have been caught with drugs at airports? Customs grounded them. Right? Do you think the man of God started selling drugs like that? He started innocently. The first day he went on TV, he paid almost one million. He said, ah, there must be another way of raising money. And somebody said, continue going. We, we are telling you this thing. We know how it works. And say, together with your preaching, you buy the shoe that has uh, whatever. You put cocaine. If you ship that one successfully, they transfer the money to your account. Who will know? After all, it's just your spirit that is safe. Your, 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 your body, your spirit is going to heaven. Your body will be transformed. All kinds of theology. Apostasy. It may not concern you now. But if you don't pay attention to it, you'll be very surprised. A man of God once said, and I've shared it here. How that he went to minister for one of his spiritual sons. And after he finished the ministration, he, he saw the crowd. Within a year, there were well over 4,000 people. And he looked at him and said, ah, in this place, 4,000. He laughed and said, Daddy, you think your oil, what, what you are releasing upon us? And he said, no. He told him, he said, go out. He sat down with his wife. He said, my daughter, talk to me. And she said, I will tell you the truth, sir. He said, they went to somebody, true story, a herbalist. Who gave them a mic? You know, most men of God, we have our mics. They gave him a mic. But that mic, they slaughtered a baby. Like these are little ones. They slaughtered a baby with the physical blood. They did some enchantments and gave the mic. If you are passing that vicinity and your spirit is not at a particular frequency, if you hear that sound, you must meander to that church and go and sit down quietly. Are altar calls being done in that church? You won't believe it. <laughs> A miracles happening in that church you won't believe it you don't use altar calls and miracles just as a sign that things are okay the man may be sincere but he was desperate for power to an extent that you kill somebody's child one of the ladies here she's even here she sent me a text day before when were we talking about it yesterday or day before yesterday somebody came to steal a baby he stole the baby as he was going out with the baby the mother caught him and he dropped the baby and ran away the lady sent me a text it happened in zaria here do you know what people do for this anointing do you know what people do for power do you know what people do for jeep apostasy and people compare themselves with themselves i shared with you a story years ago about a man of God who had a particular oil that was given to him. You rub it when you enter the meeting, the dramatic manifestations of the spirit. And one day, you know, they were doing an early morning service. True story. 
and he's like assistant like this um he didn't bath you know because he had to wake up in the morning run to church so maybe he just wash his face and he, the man sent him to go and pick something in his room and when he went he saw the oil you know anointing oil just like I, I thank god let me just rub this thing fast so that at least i can look nice i can bath after the service and the guy rubbed the oil when that guy stepped into the church i mean there were all kinds of somersaults and the jew looked at him and called him he said what did you use he said, I, I saw oil around your this thing and i rubbed it. he said you rubbed that oil may the lord punish me as i stand before you and i'm lying or just giving you a story apostasy those who have completely deviated they are not of god or those who are of god but their doctrines are not of god a man can be of god but his doctrine is of another spirit are we together now it's still apostasy so there are those who as people are not are not um, of god there are not many of these kinds let's be honest in nigeria popular to the stories people say everybody they are fake men of god everywhere it's not true there are very few people very few and they are not even popular who are fake but a man can be of god but his doctrine there was a doctrine in the bible called the doctrine of balaam question was balaam a false prophet so what why, why was his doctrine being used to admonish the church there was a doctrine called the doctrine of the nicolaitans which i hate now the bible tells us about the doctrines demons praise the lord apostasy wrong personalities bringing doctrines from the pit of hell specifically to mislead the body of christ or genuine personalities but not thorough spiritually and then bringing wrong doctrines and ministering it sincerely but is destroying the, the body of christ these two groups form the group that communicate apostasy a man can be genuine a man can be true but his doctrine may not be of god error number two in the body of christ that will stop the body of christ from coming into a place of unity until we work on it is the fear of confronting apostasy we have a group of people, a group of individuals, and a group of men of God who are less as fair and do not care about the general growth of the body. For as long as their individual ministry is doing well, let the body of Christ go places. Look up, please. These are the ones that do not have the courage to be controversial. These are the ones that do not have the courage to address a lot of things. Please look up. They are the kind of people who can see somebody like Sam being corrupted in his worship ministry and he's going down and they say, well, this is not my music director, so I don't care. They have the fear. They hate being controversial. They are the kind of men of God who always want a good name. They are the kinds of individuals. They, they don't want to be associated with any stain. No, 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 no. Let it not be. Those kinds of people, because of that fear of walking in spiritual things and the fear of being spiritual have refused the power of God from finding expression. They are the type who don't want anybody to fall down in the church. No, no, no. We don't, we don't want that kind of thing. Somebody starts prophesying, they go and throw him outside. I say, please keep him somewhere close to the toilet, lock him there. We don't want any disturbance. That fear of being controversial. Are we together now? The second error that will stop the body of Christ. When you want to confront certain things, people say, what's your business? Just leave them. Let them do their thing. Chebu, you are going to heaven. But how many other people are going to hell because of it? Are we together now? Listen, let me show you two scriptures that will bless you very quickly. Hmm. Titus chapter 1 verse 10 to 13. This, this scripture is very instructive. Titus 1 verse 10 to 13. Let me tell you why many of the people, the believers and ministers in this group 
fear because of their they are so conscious of their ego their ministry and their reputation there are so many men of god in nigeria over conscious of their reputation to an extent that they would rather the body of christ die than they stand strong to say no 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 but this requires adjustment they can gossip about it in the secret they can gather people together and castigate men in the secret they can say all kinds of things in the secret but none of them have the courage they are the type that will see a sister and say do you know that this sister is sleeping with every brother in this fellowship and you are wondering you are her pastor what is wrong with calling her and say sister i love you they will never say it because they are ashamed of their controversy they are the type that they say ah oh, promise in this is in the police station they say please we have many members this is just one of them let the police handle their work there because he said um if his pastor comes he can talk to him and say please i'm not a pastor of criminals you see that overly conscious of their reputation let me tell you something and i stand before the lord of heaven to tell you this if you have scars i will get on my knees and i will clean that scars with you never will we leave our wounded soldiers simply because of reputation i don't have one i've been controversial from day one there are husbands who will not identify with their wives two years she is not giving birth and somebody looks at her and starts singing a song why do we have two men in this place instead of a man and a wife and the man starts distancing himself the fear listen if you want the body of christ to become one you must drop aside your ministry your ego are we together now because you love the body that's what jesus did you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took on my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you are from my heart and i am yours forever and ever i will love you you are the only one who died for me gave your life to set me free so i lift my hands to you in adoration listen by the grace of god there is nobody close to me who i will see derailing and i'll be ashamed to hold his hands we have stood by people in this place with all kinds of situations i'm not my idea of being a man of god is not gathering that's why men of god do not have spiritual daughters and sons who are blind lame those ones are not sons the one who is a ceo the lady who is drop dead beautiful my daughter the one who is, is, is god god is helping them all kinds of things she's sick they don't have money is depending on you that one is a nuisance the fear of being controversial the fear of confronting apostasy they sit down in a place they are the people who can be outside and somebody is making derogatory statements against a man of god because of a misconception and they have the opportunity to say oh, my brother whatever it is that happens you don't address this they keep quiet and the person who is talking is saying i, I think you are aware you know that a jimmy is not serious with god the guy will be nodding but he's supposed to be a jimmy's member but he's nodding because of the fear of identifying we have people in the body of christ like that are we together now they are ashamed of identifying with christ they are the type who will never put a gospel ringtone they are the type who can never wear a shirt jesus saves ah they are falling their hands they are the types who can never say bless they will say bless you when they come for koinonia but you can do every other thing fear of my ego fear of my ego fear of my reputation when they brought the woman caught in adultery to jesus that was what they thought he had the fear they thought he loved his ministry so much 
that Jesus would have nothing to do with a prostitute. And they dropped her before him and said, you claim to be holy. This lady, she's been caught in adultery. What do you recommend? And Jesus looked. And he says, you see all of you, whoever does not have sin among you, cast the first stone. And she was shocked. When he went to the Samaritan woman, there was a time Jesus sat with prostitutes. He was not preaching. They were eating. And people said, this guy is a liar. When Mary Magdalene broke the alabaster box and was rubbing her hair on Jesus' feet, people said, that's it. We've had enough of this. This guy is, is no, you are not straight. No way. You know Mary Magdalene somewhere. This is not the first time this is happening. And watch this. Jesus never had any pressure to defend himself. I know what many of us would do. You go and say, look, I want you to know that I just looked at her and it's not like that. I know she's somebody's wife now. What is the whole thing? Can't... Fear. Fear of evangelism. A guy loves you, but he's not sure you are a Christian. And God says, preach to him. And you say, ah! After this guy has written me all kinds of letters, I will lie now and start talking to him about Jesus and fall my hand and scatter everything and say I'm a church girl. The fear of being controversial. Jesus said, whoever is ashamed of me, hear me before men, whoever is ashamed of me before men. You look at a man of God, there is nothing around his life that lets you know he's a man of God. Hallelujah. People can come to your house and say, sorry, oh, bros, that I, I just held one bottle of Buddha. Let me just drink it very fast. I mean, I said, no, no problem. Just sit down and relax. No opportunity to preach and talk to them about Jesus. It's not an issue. And they say, won't you take two? And then you just take one cup two and say, Lord, you know that it's just when in Rome, behave like the Romans do. This group of people are afraid of confronting truth. Listen, there are many pastors in many churches who have seen the truth, but they cannot speak. Are we together now? There are many pastors who know that it's in being filled with the Holy Spirit that you will step to the next level. They watch people go to hell and remain powerless, and they quickly come. That was what happened to a man called Nicodemus, John chapter 3. He had to come to Jesus by night. He was part of those who were shouting at Jesus in the day. You are this and that and that and that, but in his heart. So he came by night and this is what he said. He said, Rabbi, we know you are a man sent from God. For no man, forget all that shout we are shouting in the day. We know the truth. Listen, how many people will insult koinonia, abuse koinonia in the day? and carry the miracle messages and just sneak and lay their hands where the growth is and say God whatever it is let just let, let me there are many people I know who may not publicly stand to endorse what we represent but they have come to me in secret and say man of God pray for us sorry you know that it's just because of our environment the courage to be controversial those are the kinds of people who will blaze the revival. How many people can pray in tongues if their loved ones are around? The courage to be controversial. Titus 1. For there are many disorderly and unruly men who are idle, vain, empty, and misleading talkers. Listen. And self-deceivers and deceivers of others. Listen. He said this is true. Especially of those of the circumcision party who have all of that. Verse 11. Listen. He said their mouths must not be stopped. For they are mentally distressing and subverting whole families by teaching what they ought not to teach. For the purpose of getting base advantage and disreputable gain just stop there there are people like this and he's saying you are watching them he said they should not be allowed to do these things not by writing all kinds of nonsense propaganda but where god gives you an opportunity you can talk to them isaiah 5 verse 20 let's hurry up Isaiah 5 verse 20 Fear of confronting apostasy 
they will not speak so you don't know where they are standing because if they speak it may cost them money it may cost them support there are pastors who will never teach because they know the day they teach some truths members will leave and they would rather leave the members and teach error it's a dangerous thing brothers and sisters woe to those who call evil good and good evil who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter you know those who do that they are the ones who come and say my goodness my goodness my goodness you preach i mean it was powerful hey, Jimmy, i can't i can't believe what you did and they go back and say what that guy is teaching say lie they do not have the courage are we together now because of money because of fame there are men of god who are blossoming on tv stations because they were given conditions not to preach certain things not to say certain things and they said that's all right that's all right and it's growing right now the media is trying to strangle god out you are not allowed to say god again now there are technologies that mute those parts you watch it in films people are saying my god and my and you don't hear anything they've removed it away but they can't allow any other curse word to be free because their subliminal message is programming the mind of a generation to be depraved and to run away from god how many businessmen in nigeria can go to their business circles and stand and say look we are business people but this is my pastor i am a christian i love the lord ah, i say you don't do that if you do that that's equivalent to one year's wages in jeopardy and so they don't mind behaving that they are not of christ they don't care you are in a board meeting and people are saying this is what we are supposed to give the workers but we are going to chop this one just don't mind them all these poor people and you are there you just laugh when it backfires you say i didn't say anything but you watched it you would have enjoyed it if it came the bible says they are the ones who call good evil. is there any problem no 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 not at all it's all right the fear of being controversial that's what happens in nigeria that's why we're suffering and having all the kinds of things we're having because there are men whose loyalty cannot be defined there's a man of God I love so much. Many of you know him. Pastor Tony Bakare. I love him very well because, not necessarily because I believe in all of his ideologies. I love him because he's a man who stands. I love people who you can define what they represent. Let me tell you, never be friends to somebody who is friends to everybody. He's a dangerous person. They cannot define their stand. You don't know what camp they are in. Today it looks like they are here tomorrow it looks like they are here they can become anything as occasion serves them they are dangerous people very dangerous people are we together now there are so many people like that there are people who come to church they are nice in church but you can if you organize one party they won't come in the hour in the evening when the light has gone down they'll just roll and say i just came around before you do it they start nodding to the music last scripture ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18 and 19 the second category of people who are causing error in the body of christ those who fear confronting any deviation from the patterns of god because of what it will cost them ezekiel 3 verse 18 and 19 listen if you say to the wicked if i say to the wicked you shall surely die and you do not give him warning are you hearing now or speak to warn the wicked to turn from his wicked way to save his life he said the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will i require from your hand next verse yet if you warn the wicked man and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity but you have delivered yourself there are many men of God who are holding in their hands P 
people's reasons for going to hellfire and I assure you they will answer God the rich man is unfaithful to his wife you know it the rich man is into drugs you know it he carried 100 million from the drug money and brought it to your church and because you need the money you cannot sit down to say sir please hold your money I'm more interested in your soul out of that 1 million you have already calculated 2 jeeps 10, 10 million that's 20 tight 10 million instruments speakers I will buy another RAV4 for my wife you have calculated it God is watching the fear of being controversial you can stand with 1 billion naira I will tell you the truth and tell you this is it this is not it number 3 is God speaking to us? Ready for number three? The third reason or the third error is exaggerated confrontation of error. Hmm. Pay attention to what I'm about to teach. Exaggerated confrontation of error. This is the third kind of error. So the first is apostasy. The second is the error of silence and indifference. The third is the error of imbalance. Imbalance, misjudgment. This is where I will dwell and then we will pray. The third category of people, those who are cynical, wicked by default, who pride themselves at exposing and revealing the downfall of people, in a bid to prove that they are correcting, they find pleasure in revealing the flaws of the body of Christ. They are the type who will hold on to certain things in a person or in a ministry and stop people from receiving from God. Listen. There are many men of God today who preach against receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ask them why. They will say, I went for a meeting. And I saw a man of God teaching people how to pray in tongues. Because of that singular mistake, they build a doctrine around it and use it as the basis for attacking anything that will become a blessing. Are we together? Because they had a story that a man of God was sleeping with another man's wife. They just say, all young men, especially when all these ones that wear suit, no tie, be careful. You see that? They say, I remember an incident. They pick on that one and build a doctrine out of it. It's called exaggerated confrontation of error. It would have been good if it were kept within the ambience of its relevance. But by default, they had always been intimidated. Listen, this group of people are those who never do anything serious. They are the ones who look for justifications. When people are praying, three hours eight hours and they are not praying they are the ones who are intimidated the day somebody from the prayer group falls sick they are the ones to let you know those prayer people somebody has fallen sick it's not all about prayer and they say i've been telling you so they they look for situations to justify their failures and their inability for making a mark i watched a video this afternoon that touched me it was a um many of you know a TEDx and all of that so I was watching I saw the name it says the power of shame and I said wow this is interesting let me and then I clicked on it to listen to it and it was Monica Lewinsky remember uh, some of you were hallelujah 1998 the saga between her and Bill Clinton right had a scandal and you won't believe it Jimmy when I heard Molly Kalewinski talk for about 30 minutes I'm not an emotional person honestly especially when I'm under the anointing but I found myself fighting tears because popular to the stories they gave us popular to the way they lambasted that lady a 22 year old lady at that point you are the one who wants to sleep with our president and nobody 
heard her opinion they tore her into pieces and for about 10 or 20 years she could not come up in the open because of the shame and the degradation and when she was talking people were crying i said this reminds me of our world i can stand to preach and make a mistake in communicating something what i wanted to say did not live to you the way it came those who sit in koinonia are already used to me making that kind of error say they understand what i would have said but somebody who has been looking for an occasion will say come and listen to this he will cut he will even thank god for i mean he will cut i said just listen to this line he said apostle joshua selman said the primary assignment of the holy spirit is to kill you now he didn't understand what i was saying he said can you see that and you are going to that kind of church <laughs> They are the type who will say, ah, miracles are stage managed. And then the day somebody comes and says, Kai, I went to this ministry. Let me tell you the truth. Kai, what I saw, I didn't like it. They say, you see, but they are always looking for an occasion to validate their weaknesses and their intimidation. So every time they, it seems like they are correcting the body of Christ, they are not correcting the body of Christ. They are venting a philosophy that will give them a breathing space. The goal of their correcting men of God or connecting doctrines is not to create order. The goal is to excuse their limitations. Is God speaking to us? Their confrontation is from the standpoint of jealousy, from the standpoint of envy, bitter jealousy, the standpoint of envy. They use the truth to destroy. They use the truth to gratify the desires of the flesh. They are the type that will fight prosperity and will use one case study. Hallelujah. Right now, I'm sorry to say it and I say it with every sense of apology. I've heard of men of God who castigate ministers and talk about people maybe selling communion table. You know, there are churches that sell communion table, wristband, water, etc., etc. Now, there is an exaggeration to those things. But you do not throw the baby and the bad water. Thank God I'm not selling anything to you. But I've seen a lot of ministers, even communion, they criticize ministries and say people are selling blood. They are selling this. Ah, forget this. They are fathers of faith. What sort of nonsense is that? The people do not understand the mysteries. I've seen people insult God's servant, Bishop Oye, David Oyedeko, because of feet washing. You may not practice it. You may have reservations about that. But learn to respect people's dimensions and revelations. And even where you are addressing such issues for corrective purpose, it must come from a heart of love, not from a heart of bitter jealousy. There is a way I can talk about a man of God. You will know I have a personal vendetta. This is not about addressing an issue. This is a preconceived anger in me that has been seeking for a platform to find expression. Hear me. If you belong to that group, it must change tonight. Are we together? A lady who is feeling bad about herself, has a very bad self-image and may not work on it. And all of a sudden, she may see a pretty lady and then see the lady dressed very nude and say, look at, look at what this, look at all your Christian girls. The way she's, it's true that that lady is nude, but her addressing it is not because the lady is nude. She is angry at the beauty of the lady and the reaction it is creating to her awareness that she's not good enough. So she's using hammer to kill a fly. She keeps talking about it. I said, something pain me today. What is it? See the way these Christian girls dress. The, what they are trying to address is imbalance. Here men of God talk about miracles. They say, do you know that people stage manage miracles? There are people who do this. Yes. We know that there are people who do this, but are there people who teach the truth? Are there people who teach the truth? Every young man that is prosperous, oh, they are drug barons, they are this, this, they are 419, they are whatever. Don't mind them. How can a young man be so rich? Don't worry. I mean, life has time. Your limitation, what you believe, you transfer it to a congregation and keep people poor and keep people fighting everybody. Listen to me. Some of you subconsciously are partnering with the devil to destroy the body of Christ. I told you here, you never hear me open 
open my mouth and talk about a man of God to condemn him if I mention the name of a man of God is to honor him for something I challenge wrong doctrines I would challenge things that I feel need to be corrected are we together but I will never tear down another man's ministry because I'm trying to show you hear me say it again that all koinonia is doing is a contribution to the advancement of the kingdom it would be fallacy for you to believe koinonia is the only ministry that is making impact thank god for the wonderful things he's doing through us but i am aware you are aware that all around the world there are men and women of god who love god with all their heart some of us will never receive blessings from somebody from a Catholic church because of your cynicism. Oh, Holy Mary, they do this and that and that and that. And God brings somebody to your life who can bless you. But that stigma, because of the exaggerated confrontation of what you may consider to be imbalance, you have closed your heart. Somebody from another denomination cooks food for you. You say, God forbid me, I can't eat this. What has that got to do with the food? There are pastors who have propagated all kinds of messages. Once it is not your member with your church, having your wristband or having the pastors or, or all kinds of things, you fight everybody. Let me tell you, it is a lie from the pit of hell. Don't you let no man give you an impression like him or his ministry are the ultimate custodians of the activities of the spirit. It in itself is an error. Jesus said, I pray that they may be one. That's why you don't find anybody get up here and come and say, oh, the God of Koinonia. I don't have a problem with it, honestly. But I personally, for organizational purposes, no. We give the glory to God and it stops there. Are we together? Three great errors. The error of apostasy. The error of indifference. is more deceptive than apostasy because nobody knows where you stand. They don't know whether you speak in tongues or not. They are not sure. They don't know whether you believe in miracles or not. Please look at me. The second category. They are the type who can go to a harbalist and still come to a man of God. They don't care. Are we together now? Yeah. They are the types who, who will run and take drugs in the secret. Swallow paradox, swallow fancy down, and come up and say, look, in the last 10 years, God is my witness. Even, uh, even I don't even know how Panadol, what was even the name? As if they have forgotten Panadol. How old are you? You see, the second category. The day now they are sick and they have something like a growth that is obvious. They travel and don't come to church. The Lord asked me to preach this because it's very important. It's a message to us and it's a message to the body of Christ. Listen. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. Two scriptures and then I tie it up and we'll pray. Galatians 6 verse 1. Brethren, if any person is overtaken in misconduct or sin of any sort, listen, he's teaching you how to confront error. There is a way to confront error. There is a way to confront sin. There is a way to confront mistakes. Are we together? There is a way to bring confrontation such that it ends up bringing healing and addition and multiplication to the body. It says, brethren, if any person is overtaken in misconduct or sin of any sort, it says, you who are spiritual, who are responsive, listen, to and controlled by the spirit, should set him right and restore and reinstate him listen without what any sense of superiority and with all gentleness then he puts a disclaimer keeping an attentive eye on yourself see that less you should be tempted to okay the guy came to you and said honestly I love God, but last week I found myself going to a herbalist place to collect a charm. And say, ah! Go and tell Apostle. <laughs> it's not even me that will say this thing back. You see that? And before you know it, everybody in Zaria knows that promise went to collect a charm. You destroy his life. 
you destroy his ministry and you say i've always known it's not today there was a day the holy spirit was revealing to me holy spirit i'm sorry for refusing to hear you we we pride ourselves listen how many wounded soldiers i'm rounding up in the body of christ do you know the greatest place where believers die is the church i'm not justifying that people live lawless and just do all kinds of nonsense let a lady get pregnant in church and you hear what happens am i am i endorsing it no let a lady get pregnant it's a believer who will come to you and say have you had say you mean you are here Kai, you have eyes you can't see are we together now a brother goes to ask a sister and she says, no, no, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm already engaged to somebody. Before you know it, this brother says, I'm happy. It's good for them. Blah, blah, blah. You carry and ship trouble. It is only in the church where people destroy their wounded soldiers with joy. May that never happen in Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have managed all kinds of cases in this ministry. All kinds. And God is my witness. I love the people with all my heart and with all passion. There are people who have come to meet me with charms. This is what we're doing. There are ladies who have gone to Zaria City and come to say this. I don't say, ah, no, no, no. With all the teaching, I'm, no, 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 no. You don't do that. When a brother is caught or a sister, you restore one. Are we together now? If a man of God comes to how many men of God have come to me? Man of God, I'm preaching, but I'm caught up in masturbation or pornography. I don't look and I say, you, of all people, there's no such thing as that. Let me tell you, there is no man who cannot fall. We are all products of God's mercy. I have learned this. I know that if any man is standing, he's only standing because of God's grace. Grace, your grace. Lord, I'm nothing without you. Grace, your grace shines on me. Listen, that's how we treat people all around. You see a fellow believer belonging to a particular church, you stand and laugh at them. Ah, see this lady tying her hair in a certain way. See this one cat walking, and there are people who see certain ladies. The lady is just wearing her trousers. I say, Look at them. These are all the prostitute ladies moving all around. What is that? It's wrong. It's wrong. That love is what we do not have. That's why we don't see the power of God. We pray, we fast, but we have no love. He said, There remained these three faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all is love. There is no ministry I cannot preach in. There is no man of God I cannot talk to. No matter, I don't care who. I love the body of Christ. And I love the body of Christ passionately. Are we together now? Very important. There are books many of us would have read that would have blessed us. But because it was written by authors our pastors have condemned the holy spirit is nudging you read this book there is lawlessness in your church read papa kumui's book for instance maybe he wrote a book on holiness and god is saying read it you need it but i said no, no 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 the church i come from we have all of this and you lose out there was a time during my retreat for one whole day the Holy Spirit, well, it started in the night, but the Holy Spirit told me to listen to Papa Kumui's messages. Man, that thing flogged me from head to toe. Just the greeting. It wasn't even what he was addressing. There was a spirit that oozed out of him that I, I don't know how many things I repented from, from that night in morning. And it was good for me. See, brothers and sisters, you must love the body of Christ. We are all going to the same heaven. There is none that will be created for only you. I love the body of Christ. I never discriminate people. I can't see a lady now and say, Oh, you are this, you are this. No. See, if you are wounded, 
and there's something wrong in your life if you are looking for somebody to start you you have found one me joshua selman i'm not afraid of being controversial i'm not one of those cowards one of our ladies years ago was pregnant out of wedlock you remember her this thing ruined the lady it was christians i'm not justifying it brothers and sisters how believers stab themselves they messed up this lady's life almost destroyed her life in an attempt to show that holiness pays yes it does but what do you do with a soldier who is wounded rebels don't come to god they run away when a man comes to god no matter how wounded he is he's not a rebel are we together now jesus said he who does not have any sin should cast the first stone when you are pointing one hand at people three fingers are pointing back at you i remember that lady came she found a home that time we used to meet in, in the campus there do you know a time would come whenever we are preaching her baby would just be silent when we get up and we start praying she'll say her baby is kicking she found love found acceptance i used to bless that lady with money every time she was because of the shame and the reproach that believers brought to her life she said she wanted to defer i said you are not deferring you must finish and i'm going to stand with you i think a jimmy is a witness and a few people here i used to walk with that lady with her big stomach i will walk with her in front of their hostel amina and drop her there let anybody think what he wants to think they say the way this guy is being careful with this pregnancy are you sure that whatever you want to think think it are we together now i will never forget i i was so passionate about her issue the lord revealed to me the day she would give birth and i told her i said prepare on a wednesday you are going to give birth that morning she called in the morning i was so happy as if it was my child as she was giving birth i was already appearing in shika happily when she gave birth i said i want the child where is the child are you the father that's not the issue i want the child i held that child listen i prophesied to that child from the depth of my heart people were looking at me that child's destiny parents can choose to mess up but children don't choose to come give them a right to enjoy a blessed life are we together i have stood by people here in police stations oh so so person is in police station and he said they should talk to you oh this he said you are his pastor he said you are this i said what's his name i said yes i know him oh this person did a and b i said i'm coming and i will go there i will appear there ah, ah. sorry sir are you not the person koinonia yes i'm the one they are our wounded soldiers but we'll hold them to a place of victory well i'm not a coward no listen i'm encouraging you this night practice that ministry some of you need to go back to somebody and say look i left you the day i found out that you were drinking but i'm back to tell you i love you i see the way you are struggling to listen to koinonia messages i see how sincerely you have a passion to get back i'm here to help you you do that you will see the power of god in your life i never never have never will condemn anybody see let me tell you there is nobody god cannot change don't you sit down and say me i didn't drink i didn't smoke i didn't do this just keep quiet and say lord i give you all the praise during our counseling session you see muslims come people come muslims because they know that i love them and i'm friendly i don't squeeze my face as if as if i'm the person who did this and say why are you here are you not no 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 everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again but he still healed them i love them i play with their children i'm happy i have blessed the lives of people who today who have no business nothing in return for me please i'm teaching you something that will bless you there are people who cannot come for koinonia right now because of scars in their lives and some of us are the ones who are helping to keep that scars there are roommates who would have won to jesus christ there are fathers and mothers who have done all kinds of things but we are the ones who destroy them exaggerated confrontation 
I even hear that in many churches, it's even an, a thing of embarrassment. They come and embarrass the people publicly, embarrass the parents, misquoting the scripture that says you should rebuke them publicly. We don't even understand what God is saying. Whereas the person who is rebuking the guy for smoking has gold that hidden somewhere. He turned it inside the cup and kept it in the fridge. You would think he's Zobo. Does Zobo foam? Let's tell ourselves the truth and cry for the mercy of God. Let me tell you, listen. I have learned something by experience. Once you see somebody over talking about a little issue, he's a victim of it. He, that talk is to create a sense of justification. Believe what I'm telling you. The day Jesus Christ will come, you will be surprised to see those who are really close to him. You would think it would be Joshua Selman with all my ministry regalia. God will just go to somebody who you would have thought was an outcast. Because we who think we are great, we are arrogant people and will not come to God. But there are those who say, Lord, in iniquity did my mother bless me from beginning. I inherited it and I've worked in it. Have mercy upon me. And God says, these are the kinds of people who will find him. Every time I go to God, I don't go with a sense of condemnation but brothers and sisters I go with a sense of gratitude ah because I know I know what the mercy of God has done in my life are we together the next time you turn and you see a lady pregnant don't start asking stupid questions you turn and see somebody ah he went for a party and they injured him and he's back to God answering altar call he said but bros now where did you go to that they hit you like this it's over Learn to help people. I'm not laughing. Three errors that are stopping the unity of the body. I love people. I love you. Whenever you see me rebuke you, you know from the depth of your heart that it is out of love. I can rebuke you, but when you commit the offense, I will be there. I wrote a song years ago. The bandage is larger than the wound. I will sing it one day for you. I wrote that song to help hurting people. I'm concluding. Jesus gives a story of a Samaritan woman, right? A, a, a good Samaritan. Somebody was beaten by armed robbers. Are we together? A religious person came and passed and looked at him, not wanting to be unclean, left. A pastor came and looked at him and saw it and said, no, 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 I'm holy and left but then another person came a samaritan and got down on his knees and cleaned him whose wounds have you cleaned see the true picture of fatherhood is the ability to rebuke and yet cover the ability to rebuke and yet guide to tell you no 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 gulda is gulda it's not the way of god however there is a grace that can help you i am willing to help you I'll never forget years ago when a lady developed like a bipolar problem she was seeing things she was supposedly praying in tongues for two hours they took her to security office they called her pastor he kept giving all kinds of excuses i refused to come the lady i mean she would literally fight with everybody bah, 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 praying supposedly overnight like for two days non-stop i just somebody she doesn't even attend our meetings then somebody who used to attend the meeting, called on me. I said, I'm coming. I was at the security office. I just got there and they said, I should write statement. I said, for what? I'm, allow me to find out what is going on first. I will take any embarrassment if it is for you. I will take any embarrassment if it's for the kingdom. Let me be controversial. Misunderstand me. The most important thing is that no man will judge us on that day. When we stand before him, God will, see, let me tell you, the day we stand before God, you will be surprised to see the people who will enter heaven. And you will be surprised to see those who will be said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. You will see somebody you have concluded upon, who later, when you died, gave his life to Christ and God used him. Who would have said Saul will be the one to bless people? Who would have said so?
listen live your life with eternity in view do not be afraid to stand for the kingdom do not be a man of values when people are bleeding be there we're rounding up God told me if we can address these three errors there will be no reason for criticism again there will be no reason for anything strange there are people who wait for men of God to fall that's why prayer department and the rest pray for I mean they are waiting they are waiting somebody who does not know anything about finances goes to write an article about a pastor and says somebody gave him money what is your business if you don't understand kingdom finances you don't get up and now begin to talk and run your mouth and say all kinds of rubbish Oh, the TV ministry he is doing, he is doing it out of this and that and that. Let somebody just appear now and just put a baby and say exposed. Joshua Selman has a three-year-old. This beautiful lady is his daughter. And people say, you know, uh, my conscience. The same you, the same you who is looking at me right now, the same you who is receiving miracles, the same you who is a man of God with envelopes and kneeling down. They were the same people who said crucify him. Please reduce it to keys. Let's sing one song and close this night. There's a song in my spirit. Play, 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 Mike. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all will see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. I have a version. When we all get to heaven, what a day of surprises that will be. Because you will see people you never felt will make heaven. You see people who you look at them and think because they are controversial, they are not of God. You will see them stand at the gates of heaven and you will watch the way the gates will be shut against many who stand with their self-righteousness killing the body of Christ. Rejoiner, when you read his book, The Final Quest, it was a revelation of the operation of the body of Christ. Please read the book if you can get it. I read it years ago and it blessed me and when he was shown the vision of the body of Christ he saw so many people climbing a ladder and he saw others pulling them down and they were Christians who were pulling their soldiers he found out that whenever any believer had an issue many people came and were stabbing him with a knife and they were all Christians May it never be through your life that somebody will miss heaven because something about an exaggerated, I'm not teaching you to not confront error, but it in itself is an error to move beyond certain things and destroy a man's ministry. A prophet went to a church and saw by revelation that a man of God's wife was sleeping with somebody in the church. What will a wise prophet do? Will you not calm down after the meeting? You call the woman and say, Mama, please don't be offended. This is what I saw. I can pray with you. I can help you. He just carried his big mouth and ran it in the church and said, What I'm seeing is a surprise. Well, I did that, that, and that. Who is by the name ABC? People clap. Ah, Mama, you got it right. Who is by the name so so person? They clap. They say, Two of you, you know what you are doing. And he just tore that ministry into two. You think that's the will of God? Rise up, let's pray. Jesus prayed a prayer and said that they may be one. Three prayer points according to the teaching very quickly and we're done. Lift your hands to heaven and thank him for this word. The word will bless you in the day you need it. This word came from the Lord for you and by extension for the body of Christ. There are people listening to this message right now and he's healing them literally literally healing them give him thanks say father thank you for your word 
every moment in your presence is a time of transformation every time in your presence is a time of change you have given me wisdom you have given me grace first prayer point and i like you to pray seriously i like you to pray and say lord every revelation in my life that is an error that is already leading me the way of apostasy reveal it to me and bring me back on track lift your voice and pray please pray make sure you are praying inside and all the overflows make sure you are praying everything i have held on to everything i have held on to capable of destroying me doctrines of demons doctrines of demons persuasions that look spiritual but are not consistent with the patterns of the kingdom open my eyes oh god open my eyes oh god so that i will not keep the body of christ in bondage doctrines that have kept the church poor doctrines that have kept the church conscious of demons and spirits as against the strength and the might of christ doctrines that have made the church powerless doctrines that have caused men to depend on the strength of the flesh as against the power of the cross lord take it away from my life bring me to the way everlasting Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to pray and say, Lord, where I need to speak out for you, I receive grace to not let my ego make me watch others in error go to hell when I can address it. That 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 self-destructive attitude of keeping my ego and allowing somebody go to hell that state of indifference i don't want to be controversial so i rather allow people in their error than to stand and teach truth lift your voice and say help me help me help me give me grace and give me courage are you praying koinonia grace and courage grace and courage the bible says we all like sheep have turned astray every man has gone his own way grace 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 to draw people away from the gates of hell unashamedly regardless of the controversy that it will bring in your life regardless of how misunderstood you will be hallelujah before we take the third prayer point hold your hands together we're going to sing that song though we are many we are one body we are one body in Christ though we Many, we are one body, we are one body in Christ. Lift your voice and sing it one time. I don't care whether you are Catholic, Anglican, Mountain of Fire, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, we may differ in different things, but it is very clear that the intention of the kingdom is that we may be one. Body. We are one body in Christ. For the last time now, lift your voice and sing. Though we are many, yes, we are one body. We are one body in Christ.
I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, put such love for the body of Christ in me. Not love for koinonia. Love for the body of Christ. Every denomination, regardless of what I agree with or what I disagree with, every denomination, regardless of what I believe about their doctrines or not, is too small a reason too small a reason to fight too small a reason to tear down people pray lord i love your body every denomination regardless of their errors regardless of the areas of imperfections they may have made mistakes they may hold on to ideologies i do not agree with but i love the body of christ i love the body of christ my god is not only the god of koinonia he is the god of the body and i'm telling you ministries may make mistakes we may all have our shortcomings but the church is marching on regardless of the mistakes regardless of the imperfections the church is marching on and the bible says that i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail hallelujah we are going to pray in one minute pray for every denomination every pastor and every wounded soldier in the body i like you to say lord i repent from adding to their pain it was with my mouth i spread the news that destroyed them lift your voice and pray lord i pray I pray the same out I want to use to prophesy and speak to destinies I have torn down pastors torn down churches torn down men of God destroyed wounded soldiers lift your voice and pray and say Lord I repent in sackcloth and ashes I repent in sackcloth and ashes are you praying I love your body I will stand with those who are wounded I will stand with those who are bruised like the good Samaritan when others are condemning them and running away I will reach out with a helping hand I will stake my reputation to see people restored back hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family jesus Shokos Ketosia help this woman Sheketos Keleketa Yata Tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands
pray that the Alatos, whoever programmed the earth to fight any family, tonight is a night of resurrection. Sotetos Kariatata Parodos Sotokosh Eleketokes Sedekotosh Priakatas Kotariatatosia Eketos Koliadada I decree and declare Let it come out now Let it come out The breakthrough of that family The healing of that family The miracle of that family I release it now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven stones. And the Lord is saying these are tight destinies. This is the whole destiny of a family. Seven of them. But may the sword of the God I serve. Shakotos Shakraskatosya. Raketo toto tetete ele katos keta proskia rakata batos soteriata in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight Hallelujah. I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth, either a breast lump or something in their body. Four ladies, all of them have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever this family is, regardless of what, what overflow, I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that family does not need healing. That family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakatos kata. Lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance I really do. This mama, there's serious witchcraft in your family. As I'm praying for you now, I'm seeing a rope. A rope. I'm seeing a rope. And the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free. I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time. Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing? No. It is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down. That's what I want to do now. I want to pray. Listen. Many of you inside, many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time. Let me tell you the truth. It is when those forces leave your life. Families here. Spirits have sat on the destinies of families. Do your worst. Go to school and come back and meet us. Get a job and still come back and meet us. 
marry and come back and meet us. Are we together? It's time for them to go. Lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you now. I'm going to command those devils to leave you. Listen, it's not a suggestion. They must go. They must leave you. Are we together now? I'm praying for you. Please, now, because the ushers are doing their best, the protocol is doing their best, but there is only so much. They may not be able to help people. There are people outside. Please, be your brother's neighbor. If someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself, you can do well to help. Please, you can help at least manage. The ushers will come for it. Because this prayer I'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people. I see a lot of wild spirits, wicked, ancient spirits. All shapes and all sizes, they must go now. Just one instruction. I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed. No, that's a different thing altogether. Some of you as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils. Go now. Go now. Ancestral spirits. Spirit husbands. Spirit wives. Yokes of darkness. I command you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient spirits. Spirits that have been generational. Familiar spirits. I command you. Now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman, manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams. In the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Ketiata. Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits. I separate you from those covenants. I separate you from those ordinances. Any man, any woman, any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people the, your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son he's here where is he come come and stand 
Daddy, I want to pray for you that this life of hardship, God wants, please stand up, please stand up. You don't have to kneel down, sir. This is your dad. I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, or something? Augustus. Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that... My sister, come. This lady, this one, not you. You are not a woman, my brother. This, come. Lift your hands. Shout over. Forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, if you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I ask you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper by the anointing of the spirit of God go and prosper Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time Gabriel, Gabriel is he Gabriel? what's your name? Huh? Augustine, come you are Gabriel why is he here? Augustine I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel. Too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? 
Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name year two? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But year two, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus, I want to pray for you. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family, but it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? Is a what? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They name somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State, but the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale Ale Kuos, Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata, Breketos Kote Satariatosia, Leketabosh, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. Right. 
What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. Jumai, 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 is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than older than old this is hundreds of years old but in the name of jesus i'm praying now i use you as a point of contact i command that spirit you must go now hallelujah please just allow me this is juma i'll pray for you but i'm seeing a family this is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare. That everything that has tied you down everything that has tied you down right now in the name of Jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you I hold your hands and I release you right now in Jesus name I want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hardworking whether you go to school or not but the Lord is asking me to pray for that family right now Lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of jesus There's somebody here you lost your job in the month of march march you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of march i want us to hurry up I, i'm i'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of march i don't know if you are except if he's a person is far maybe overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of march where is that person Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Sir, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. 
Back the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus, whatever should not leave you and left you, I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me? I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes. You sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which As hospital? An accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see, we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people. With all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job. Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul. Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the act has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I can get you on the Can I get you on the chew? Chew on the chew. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting, Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. In your name. We will rise, Adonai, you reign on high, in your name, in your name, we will rise, Adonai, Adonai, you reign on high. 
look at me that girl look at me shout Jesus something is tying you let it lose you now I stretch my hands to you let it be over now hallelujah now please for those of you coming here for the first time we take our time we you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time our time is very limited praise the Lord now this is what we are going to do um, while I give you the prayer request please listen carefully those please listen carefully I want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come I want you to come I want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside I want you to come stand here and then part of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 jesus we bless you I don't know You reign no more Casting crowds Lifting hands Bowing hearts Is what we've come to do Casting crowds We are lifting hands Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now, this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people, you have our miracle services. If you came with someone, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we'll coordinate. We'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. 
you can uh, let's see we have to be fast praise the lord okay this is what will happen um pastor jimmy will be at the overflow outside here pastor alpha you'll be at the overflow here benga you would go to overflow three is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace. And we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We we'll need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please worship team you're going to give us we're going to pray one prayer first i'd like you to decree and declare and say father i prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray father we give you all the praise do i not leave now how to do Come and change my story Give me a testimony Do what only you know How to do Can I hear you say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do
you say, I trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. On you. My trust, I trust is in you. Oh, and like of Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Professor, tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka paskata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit family. There are still more that should come quickly. Ha pokoto prokoto sekete balalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. Kadosh, you mighty on your throne, mighty in this place, mighty, mighty on your throne, you mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. 
some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of Jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus the ground opens and swallows them whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted we seize their peace and their sleep now hear me any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify may God answer their prayers this night The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people is for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity, clarity. God is answering questions now by the anointing. If that fire comes from you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity, clarity. All the overflows, clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that is your time of recovery 
Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Proskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families. Over individuals and over families. Individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now Listen, you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that? The devil wants to kill this woman with cancer. Eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her. Your mother, you are the ones who brought her. Hold the mother and two of you come. You, two of you need deliverance first. Leave mama, come, come and stand. Someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit. I've prayed for her, but I'm looking. I'm this is this your mother, two of you. I want to pray for you. Eh? What you need, I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer, but for you, God must heal you first. You will need deliverance. Eh? I'm not saying you are witches, but I have to pray for you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will not allow these ladies to go down. The way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Kai wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh 
I'm praying. You may not even know you are the one. I say it again. Whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name, whether it's your marital destiny, whether it's your breakthrough, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow that wicked man. Who say now? Who say now? Who say now? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are Hussein, huh? What's your name? Huh? Hussein, now? Huh? I want to pray for you, eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family major breakthrough i lay my hands right now and i command it. let it happen right now in the name of jesus where are you from my dear jalingo taraba in the name of jesus the lord gives you a miracle now in the name of jesus let me pray for you every bad luck must live your life now eh? every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job, something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a curse. Are you, are you a demon? It's a curse. You start a building project, you finish after 10 years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I I take it away now in the name of Jesus and I use as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. You are into printing. Uh, I will pray for you. But the person I'm seeing, I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it, you are into it. For how long? Since my, my childhood, sir. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here. I'm serving in Kagzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something. Losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police. 
because the person will say that you went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? He huh? stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. You, you, you need to. Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you so close. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April, everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes. 
There's a shop. I'm what ha- then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, Close. Okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God and God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need... You are a very good tailor. I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I'll offend some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's a problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as God steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you I want you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands he must go now to draw from you again again yeah. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students, 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. Be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. You didn't come out for tailor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. 
I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault, it's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady. And you married last week you see this if this lady is angry that spirit will manifest no matter how strong you are she will beat the living daylight out of you when that spirit leaves her she will tell you sorry and then it will come back this is what God is helping us to solve are we together now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000 you insulted her when that spirit rises she will tear your clothes or beat you Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you're a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You're a tailor too? Where? You're in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you're in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you are a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus name. If you are in business, please. Any kind of good godly business, lift your hands. If you are in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs. You are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? 
there are businesses that are demonic writing exams for people writing jam for people writing i will never pray for you for increase that's not a godly business business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband somebody's wife it's not a good business prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before god but i pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of jesus listen please i want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer i'm praying for you and watch what god does some of you you don't have any clients you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service october it will be like a dream i prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital i declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of jesus christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of jesus christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it god will use it to honor you i call somebody to buy it now in the name of jesus now i prophesy favor on everyone i decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became ruth the wife of boaz i don't know who i'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month i release it to you right now i release it to you right now in the name of jesus christ help that woman there please there are people from january till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened i stand before the god of heaven and i decree and declare may my god do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open i open that door for you right now i open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again I set you free right now. Help that. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel. No love. No joy. When someone is about to rise, a troublemaker comes. I declare, may the Prince of Peace, Satoska La Prakatotiata, may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship 
a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all those writing exams shakatos kata prati alakatos in the name of Jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ All our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post UME. In the name of Jesus, we give you admission here. I don't care who you know or who you don't know. We give you admission here now. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students are writing their exams by 9 o'clock tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, grace for retention. Receive it. There are other people writing promotion exams. Others, there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their PhD work, research, you know, their thesis, whatever it is. Anything that has refused to come to completion in your life, I, re I release upon you grace for completion. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point and we are done. Give me two minutes. I need to pray for our spiritual lives. Some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayer zero. Fasting zero. Word life zero. Passion for the things of God zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen results and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting god as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i cost that thing now listen we're rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand god and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave god to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point god is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands i want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen Mm. 
there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations i will not end this meeting without this impartation i'm praying now at the count of three let an unction let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand one two three take it now healing anointing take it now prophetic mantle take it now grace for signs and wonders receive it may your hands become healing hands may your hands become miracle hands deliverance hands favor hands hear me the grace to win souls like never before i know it's old school i'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work soul winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether i mentioned it or not i'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start within 24 hours let your miracle start those of you who came from far before you get to where you came from you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take part dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video.
Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and let her. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. 